Jeeva Korja, hello my friends and you're very welcome back to Pokemon Soul Silver episode 24. So I did a little bit of level training, level grinding, leveling up Quilava. So let me show you really quick. I trained Quilava up to level 32. I decided not to go any higher than that. Um, I was going to go 33, but Steelix is 35 and I think the Magnemites are around 30. 31. I can't remember what the Magmites are off the top of my head, uh, but I thought 32 was good, so I'm gonna stick with that. Um, so Quilava learned Swift at level 31. So now we have a new move. I got rid of Quick Attack because the attack or the um, power was slightly lower. I think it was 60 power or 40 power. What was it again? Wait, I'm, I'm gonna try and get this right. Okay. Yeah, so Quick Attack is 40 power and 100% accuracy, and Swift is 60 power and never misses, so I figured Swift is probably a better choice in the end. Also, Lapras gained a level kind of by accident, so Lapras is at level 29, so the only one falling behind a little bit is Scyther, so we will worry about training Scyther later on. But for now, uh, so I trained Quilava in the grass just down here. Um, I in Route 48. So I also caught some Pokemon while I was training. So I'm just gonna show you those Pokemon really quick because it was an interesting bunch that I was not expecting. Um, I know we're not like, I'm not worrying too much about Pokemon catching because we're not completing the Pokedex, but I do like to catch anything I don't have. It's kind of just the way my Pokemon brain works. So just really quickly, I'm gonna show you what we got. So I filled up box one. So let me see, Wooper we caught last time. So I caught Girafferig, I caught Tauros, I caught Gloom, and then we have now started box two, which this Hoppip was the last Pokemon we caught. I feel like there was more. There was Vulpix, which we already have a Vulpix. There was a lot of interesting Pokemon in that grass. So I'm going to come back here after we fight Jasmine. I think we're ready now to fight Jasmine. I'm going to give it a shot. I feel like we can do it. We'll make it happen. Switching out, getting items. That also reminds me, I'm very low on Pokeballs. Actually, no, I'm out of Pokeballs. I'm down to one Great Ball and a few of the other different types, like the Lure Ball and stuff. So I do need to buy Pokeballs. I'm going to do that first uh, when we fly back to Olivine. I'm going to fly back to Olivine right now, but I do want to come back here because I'm thinking in the next episode, I want to do a Safari Zone, like special episode on its own. Um, just taking a little break from the gyms, I suppose, because we're, we're going to do a gym leader now and then after this fire zone next time we'll continue on to Mahogany Town. So I do want to come back here, but first of all, let's fly to Olivine and then we're going to come back here, talk to all these people, have a little explore. I think there is an item down here too that we didn't quite get to. There's a few little things to explore. So anyways, we're going to come back here. So for now, let's fly to Olivine and fight Jasmine, the gym leader. This will be badge number six. So we are making our way through this game. So, uh, Mart, first of all. Yes, let's go to the Mart. Okay, we've got 45,000, so we've got enough. Okay, we can have, I'm gonna get like 10 Pokeballs just for now. Oh, and a Premier Ball, of course. Uh, Great Balls, I'm just gonna get another 10. And whoops, I did not mean to do that. Let's go for, oh, we can get Hyper Potions now. We already have six Hyper Potions. I think I'm just gonna get another 10 just to have them. We'll always use Hyper Potions. We probably, we're probably at the point now where Hyper Potions are more appropriate now than Super Potions. So let's get a couple of revives as well. We've got four, we can afford 17. Um, let me see. I might just get 10. Now that we still have like 10,000. Pokies, whatever the currency is called. Pokies? <laughs> don't even know. Polka dollars? I don't know. No idea. Also, our repels are pretty low. Um, I might just get a cup just to have because they're so frustrating when you don't have them. Um, can I... Oh, I, su I, sh I should have gone for the super repel, actually. I'm just going to get five super repels as well. Okay, we've stocked up 
our items, which we badly needed to do. I feel like I hadn't done that in a while. So, all right, everyone is healed, but I'm just going to go heal anyway. Because you never know. Okay, I think we're ready for Jasmine, guys. I'm just gonna go for it. There's no point in being nervous. Quilab is up front, he's at level 32, and I think, honestly, Flame Wheel is gonna get us through this and Ember. And if I need to switch out and use other attacks, use the other Pokemon as buffers or whatever it's called, um, we're gonna do it. That's my plan of attack, is to just burn this thing up. <laughs> Jasmine uses Steel-type Pokemon. She's trying to hide her tenderness behind her Steely coldness. Now these people don't fight you. Um, I knew you'd come here. Thank you for helping the gym leader, but a battle is a separate matter. Go for it. Giggle. Giggle. I know how capable you are from the lighthouse. It's time you showed that side of yourself to Jasmine. Good luck. Okay, I'm gonna save it. I don't know why. I just feel like I need to. It's not like I probably... It's not like I would reset anyway if we lost. I feel like I would just take the loss and try again, but... There's just something about it. There's just something about me having to save the game, so. Okay, we're all saved up. Quilava's out front. How are you feeling, Quilava? Quilava's very composed and sure of itself. Okay, well, let's let's go with that. Okay, here we go, guys. Time to fight Jasmine. Thank you for your help at the lighthouse, but this is different. Please allow me to introduce myself. I am Jasmine, a gym leader. I use the clang steel type. Do you know about the steel type? They are very hard, cold, sharp, and really strong. Um, I'm not lying. Okay, guys, here we go. Gym badge number six. I think she goes Magnemite, Steelix, Magnemite. Usually that's what I remember at level 30. Okay, that's what I thought, level 30. I couldn't remember if it was 31, 32, 33, whatever, but yeah, anyways, level 30, let's go in with the flame wheel. Okay, I thought we might get it, that's okay. Um, oh, did I get... <laughs> I think we do have Paralyze Heal. That's a pain. Um, mm -mm -mm. okay, I'm just gonna go for the Ember. Oh, he's Hyper Potion! I was gonna, I was gonna use a heal, and then I didn't. I should have. Let's go again. This is gonna slow us down, that's the other thing, so. Ooh, that did damage. Now we get the critical hit, of course. That's my luck. Okay, Magnemite's down. Now she's going for the Steelix. I feel like Quilava is not ready. <sighs> Quilava's not ready, so I think I'm going to send out somebody else. Maybe Ampharos can paralyze it try and slow it down and I can try and heal up Quilava in the meantime, get a par paralysis heal, paralyze heal and get a potion on Quilava and try and get a good shot at uh, the Steelix. Okay, thunder. Oh, it doesn't affect him. Why did I not remember that? Okay, well there's that. So no electricity, I'm assuming. Okay, well, do we have a full restore? Wait, we don't even have... We don't even have Paralyze Heal. Shoot, we don't have Paralyze Heal. What does Pe Pecha do? Poison. Rost is Burn. Oh, we don't have Paralyze Heal. We have Heal Powder. Very bitter medicine powder, but heals... Okay, we're gonna have to use the Heal Powder. That's all we have. Wow, that's crazy. Okay, he's not doing any attacks. So that's good, but he is lowering our defense, so that's bad. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go, how much? I'm just gonna chance the Hyper Potion, just in case. Yeah, let's go for the Hyper Potion. Iron Tail. Okay. Ooh. 
Oh my god, not very effective. <gasps> yes, he's paralyzed from static. Okay, that's good. That's I actually didn't think that could happen. But he's paralyzed from static, so that's good. So that'll slow down Steelix. Um, also, it's a female Steelix. I don't know, I just realized that. Um, anyways, okay. Yes, he missed. Okay, okay. That right there may have just been the best thing ever. Now hopefully we'll get to attack first. Yes! Yes! Okay, come on. How much damage is this gonna do? Not very much! Okay, but he's paralyzed. So that's good. Okay, let's go again. The chances of us getting a critical hit? I'm not sure. Oh, this this could be this could be risky. Maybe level 32 wasn't enough. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep going with the flame wheels. Oh, he's got a berry. She, she of course she's got a berry. Oh my gosh. Fuck the roll. That is not good. That is not good. Crobat is not going to be good against Rock Throw, but my hope is that maybe Crobat can confuse it. That's why I put out Crobat. Confuse Ray. Okay, that's good. Paralyzed and confused. good that's good although it's not doing much damage but it's still good okay oh <laughs> not trying to run uh, okay um, <laughs> let's get out of here hmm okay try and get some more flame wheels in oh of course of course it snaps out of confusion. That was kind of a waste. Okay. Hmm. Her. Oh yes, Lapras has Confuse Ray as well. Okay. Let's go, let's go in for the Confuse Ray. Out of curiosity, I'm gonna go in with the Surf and just see what that does. Oh my god. This did not go how I expected it to go. Whoa. Okay, um, this is not safe. I'm gonna keep Lapras in because Kolava's Kolava's fainted. Um, Lapras is weak to electricity. Properly tempered steel will be a bit rusty by things like this. Okay. Um, will we try another surf? I mean, <laughs> why not? Oh my god! <laughs> Two critical hits in a row. How is that even possible? Whoa. Well done. Dot dot dot. Oh my god. You are a better trainer than me in both skill and kindness and pure luck with critical hits, honestly. In accordance with League rules, I can confer upon you this badge. Erin received the mineral badge. I have no idea what just happened. With that badge, all Pokemon, including traded Pokemon up to level 70, will obey you without question. Please take this too. It's called Iron Tail. Your Pokemon will hit the target with its hard tail, occasionally lowering the target's defense. Um, I don't know how to say this, but good luck. Okay. Well, weirdly, Lapras was MVP 
and me training up Quilava <laughs> in between episodes. Oh, Liz. Hey, Liz. Guess what just happened? <laughs> Good afternoon. What's up? I just beat Jasmine. This is Liz. Listen, listen. Uh, whoops. I forgot what I was going to say. Okay, I'll call you later. Okay, that was riveting. Thanks for that, Liz. Okay, so I have always, always beaten Jasmine by using Quilava. Always. I don't know what just happened. It feels like Quilava training was for nothing, but... Wow. Well done, Lapras. Lapras was MVP. I can't believe Surf worked. It did more damage- well, it did more damage than fl in Flame Wheel, but it was a critical hit, and then we got a critical hit twice in a row. How did that happen? That was- that was amazing. I actually thought that battle was going to go longer. I, I thought maybe I'd shot myself in the foot and Kulava wasn't strong enough and I was thinking, oh, this is going to be the entire episode now, this battle. Um, but never mind, we did it. <laughs> I can't believe that just happened. That was so cool. Okay, great. So let's fly back to the safari gate then. Now that, uh, now that we beat Jasmine. So the next episode I want to do the Safari Zone, but I just said we'd have a quick look down here. There was a lot of interesting Pokemon in this in this grass. I also thought it could we could get some inspiration for our final Pokemon. Uh, oh, Farfetch'd! Oh, we already have a Farfetch'd. I was just gonna say, the madness random Pokemon that are here is insane. I thought we might get some inspiration for our... Uh, Final team member, Nugget. All that for a Nugget. Okay, well at least I can sell it. <laughs> I'm gonna sk Oh no, we can't surf there. That literally looks like we could surf there. No, we can't surf there. Okay, that was another Farfetch'd. So I'm just- I was curious to see what kind of Pokemon we could catch. Because yes, I'm looking for inspiration for our final- our fi sixth and final team member. Our biggest thing with our team is that we are immensely weak to Electric type. We have Crobat, we have Lapras, we have Scyther which are all weak to electricity and Quilava is kind of neutral with electricity. So honestly, I, I have no idea on, I know I wasn't really planning, you know, the Pokemon that we're going to end up on the team, but I feel like for it might be smart for us to get something of the rock ground type, just to like fill that weakness, that weak spot in our current team. I think that'll really help us through the Elite Four. I really want to go up there on that water, but we don't have Waterfall yet, so we can't do that just yet. Anyway, um, so I thought maybe the Safari Zone in this area around here might kind of give us some inspiration for what Pokemon we might like to add to our team. I feel like at this point we should have six members um, so I want to think about adding that last member soon. Let's talk to all these people here, find out what they sell. This Butterfree. Oh, you want to buy something? Can you wait while I get it ready? Just a minute. Welcome. What do you need? Okay, what does she sell? Airmail, Nest Ball, Quick Ball, and Dusk Ball. Ooh. I might get a Quick Ball. We don't have any. Maybe I'll just get like three Quick Balls. They can be handy. Um, they can be handy to catch we'll say like the the legendary dogs because they're like a roaming like a random encounter so if you throw a quick ball first out then you have a chance of catching a pokemon like that um safari zone it makes me feel like i'm in a foreign country it brings up a strange feeling i've decided to carry pokemon drinks this will be new to me but i will do my best welcome what do you need oh so this guy sells like the protein iron zinc stuff i actually never use this stuff i feel like it's quite expensive and i don't know if it makes a huge difference i don't know let me know in the comments do you use that stuff the you know the zinc and the protein and the the iron i actually usually sell that stuff um there are many pokemon to choose from but nothing beats the cuteness of slowpoke people often say that i look like one. Oh, is that a compliment <laughs> maybe some people might think that's a compliment safari safari it's so much fun safari safari so interesting huh so many pokemon are waiting for us that's a song i made up i sing it when i'm in the safari zone what do you sell though <laughs>
I have always wanted to catch my first Pokemon at the Safari Zone. I'm not a talker. <laughs> Kangaskhan. Kanga, Kanga, Kangaskhan. Okay, and there's one more person, I think. Yeah, this guy and his Jigglypuff. The Safari Zone is great. I just kept going after Pokemon. That made my Jigglypuff upset. <laughs> Aww. So <laughs> blue. Okay, so that's everybody here spoken to. I'm curious about... Maybe I'll try a couple more wild encounters and just curious if anything new pops up. I'll probably cut out the battles um, unless it's something interesting. So here we go. Let's just try one. Okay, that was another Farfetch. Let's try one more time. This will be the last one. And that was a Gloom, which I caught uh, while I wasn't recording. So... All right, I'm going to leave it at that for now. I think next time we will go into the Safari Zone and we will catch a bunch of Pokemon just for fun, just to, you know, have the Safari Zone experience. I'm actually, I feel like it's been such a long time since I've ever been in the Safari Zone. So I'm excited to go in and have a look, see what we can catch and also maybe hopefully try and get our last team member, get some in inspiration for our last team member. I don't know, one or the other, both. We'll see. But I'm going to wrap this episode up here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you're happy that we beat Jasmine in such a cool, lucky way. <laughs> I hope you really enjoyed the episode. Seriously, thank you so, so much. Don't forget to like and comment and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in the very next one. Slong a fool. Goodbye.